program is the only reason that we were able to band together with many restaurants on the block and have a fighting chance. And we can see them thrive here today. We're so excited that this program is becoming permanent, but the one thing that we really desperately need is the government to step up and help us fund. All of the volunteers, all of the barriers, all of the hours and time that it takes, uh, it, it, it isn't sustainable. We set up 90 barriers, 100 cones. I think right now we have 120 pieces of furniture. It takes up to an hour to open the street. Friday during rush hour traffic, it's quite exciting to close Vanderbilt to traffic up at Atlantic. But then we create all this public open space. And as soon as we've closed off a block to traffic, people come out. During the open street program, and uh, open restaurant program on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, our tiny little bar that could morphs into uh, a party with 65 tables inside and out. And that kind of economic growth, uh, it helps with jobs, it helps with keeping our kitchen staff employed during the pandemic, it helps uh, keep people on the block, keep them fed, giving them an outlet during that time. I mean, even just today, a uh, new table across the street entered the open street program and we're sharing our space that was normally just for us. We just pushed down a little bit and we're sharing the space with them. Down this way we have the work of art. So we're very proud of our streetery, not a shed. This ain't no shed. This is a cathedral. We're very proud of it. I think that it's a staple here in the neighborhood. When the kids pass by, we have a lot of uh, schools around here. They always go on their walks and uh, they're always pointing out our plants and flowers that I've been teaching them about, spearmint, and rosemary. And you can touch them and smack them and smell them. We have artists from all over the city come and we gave them money to have a con art studio that came and did this amazing mural as, as well as this one over here. And then down here we also have Alejandro NYC, um, Marsha P. Johnson. Uh, started the Stonewall Riots in 1969, and we honor her for helping us uh, gain our LGBTQ uh, rights. And the restaurants, that's kind of fun, uh, to just be able to walk and like sample all the goods up and down the street. That's, uh, that's a, fun, a great way to spend a Saturday. You can talk to any of the restaurants uh, who participate in the program. They will all tell you it helped save them during the height of the pandemic. It really has been such a benefit to their, to their businesses. and. Yeah, it draws people to the street. I also want to highlight the bike lane. This is really providing a protected, safe bike corridor. We've done uh, bike counts in the spring. We see about 500 cyclists coming through per hour. That's one of the busiest bike routes in, in New York, actually. It really gets actively used. Let's go over here, and we're going to talk to Bandit, the branded dog. So this right here is Bandit, our dog. It's a boxwood. And we put this out here to make sure that people look both ways. Because obviously when we cross over uh, the bike lane, we want to make sure that people are safe and secure on the block. Uh, we just have to make sure that we're careful on these open streets. So I try to put this out here so the kids are, uh, are, are aware of what's going on and the parents kind of look both ways. Oh, and I see lots of uh, kids riding their scooters. I saw a little kid learning to ride their bike for the first time earlier. Cyclists, people out for a stroll to enjoy the nice weather, people on their way back from the farmer's market at Grand Army Plaza, lots of people out enjoying outdoor dining, of course. I see so many tourists coming in from Europe, coming in from uh, Latin America, coming to Vanderbilt Avenue to enjoy the open streets because it feels like home. They do it over there, why can't we find a way to do it here and do it well? We're hoping that DOT and the, our representatives and uh, city council help step up and help us help them. So come on down to the Open Street Program, Vanderbilt Avenue, and you will be welcomed with wide open arms. Come on in. Very nice. All right. I don't really know where that went, but it went. Look, this isn't a plant. They just started cheering. Oh. It's true. The community loves it.